All right, ladies and gentlemen, a lot has been going on in the basketball world. Some of it I actually don't know yet because this is getting recorded like a day before NBA free agency starts. But um, it doesn't matter what happens to the teams because we're not ranking quality of the teams, uh, where they stand, like f- based on futures. We're just ranking logos today. Um which is very important for an NBA team to have. It helps draw in new fans. If somebody's living in a city that doesn't have a team, and they just got to decide, well, hey, what team do I want to start getting invested in? The logo could play a pretty big part of it. I am burping because I've been drinking soda. But anyways, um, let's just get right into it and ranking all of these teams. And I want to actually get started. I don't want to go in order here. I want to get started with a very specific theme amongst a lot of these different ones and I'm gonna put them in order here I'm gonna slap them all up here this one might not really fit it but I'm gonna include it um you know yeah we'll just do all like this we'll do all the ones that are like this uh, you're, you're different enough you poke out enough to not for me to not count you here um I think I got them. Just all the just all the the, the perfect circle logos. Um, Mavs aren't included because it's that is on top of another thing. Uh, Lakers, it it's it's the ball and then the text on top is a little different than these. Uh, Celtics, he pokes out enough that I'm not going to count it here. Most of these are also a basketball within. Like that's a basketball. There's a little basketball here. That's a basketball. There's not one. Little one, there's a basketball. Not one, there's a basketball, there's a basketball. But anyways, for this style, it still varies, I think. Like, for starters, let's just jump. Let's just go kind of random. Like, I, Timberwolves, I love their logo. I actually might go as high as putting in this. I actually genuinely love this logo the more I look at it. Maybe as I see some others, I'll move it around. Um, but just the nice wolf, nice and clean easy read text here of, of the name of it. And then the basketball, I, I, I don't hate a basketball being included in a logo. I might dislike it being the whole logo, but being included is not a negative in any ways. Uh, it's a basketball team. Not going to hate it if the basketball is a part of the logo. There can be clever ways to utilize it that might make it cool that it's in there. Um, it, this one's not necessarily that, but it, it just everything else going around it. I think I just love Wolves. And just having one so prominently displayed um, is great. Um, but yeah, I'm going to put it S for now. For a story to franchise, the 76ers actually have a pretty boring logo. Like, here's some stars at the bottom, Philadelphia on top, the name, more stars, basketball. Kind of boring. I'm honestly just going to put it C. Uh, it's just disappointing given the history of this franchise. And it really should, it deserves a better logo. The Nuggets. Uh, you got the you got the pickaxes, a little mountain for Denver, little basketball, easy to read. Um, I like it. I'm gonna put it B. Uh, nice solid logo. Detroit. What are we? This one is just a basketball with the name. That's boring as hell. Super disappointing. Like the Detroit Pistons have been for years. I mean, if I was to, if you take a step back and look at the NBA as a whole, you start to think of the Pistons in a much higher light. But just what they've been recently. Uh, the logo reflects that, so maybe I should put it as as of how reflective it is of the team, but I I, I just can't. Uh, the Hawks basketball club, interesting little addition down here at the bottom. Um, I, I I like it a little more. I mean, just the not I don't want overly simplified for everything, but I like Atlanta's you know nice simple hawk peeking in here, nice colors, just the two colors I like. Gonna put in a nice solid B Pacers. Um, I'm gonna put it next to the Sixers logo here. Um, it, like the the most of the logo just being the initial of the team, <sighs> you know, type shit. Like it's just all right. Um, Warriors. I like the Warriors logo. Nice, nice Golden Gate Bridge. The the blue and yellow I think works really well. Golden State Warriors reads easy. Um, yeah, I, I, I like it. I like it a lot, actually. Um, but I don't know. The bridge is still... I don't know. I guess I guess I might just be a simple little kid who likes animals more than bridges. 
That might be what this comes down to. Now, Toronto, I still like their logo. They did downgrade when they switched to this from the True Raptor. Uh, but the nice claw marks on it. Um, I, I think it's just that there's claw marks on the ball. I think that's the only reason I really like it as much as I do. This one's kind of gross to look at. Like, there's a lot going on with some of the, the colors. Um, it's easy to read. You, you get the monument here, the, the star, but I I do not care for this logo. Now, the Orlando Magic. Um, I, I, I like it. Um, the, this basketball almost kind of looks like a comet, and I know that, you know, some different mystical groups maybe incorporate space shit into their fucking magic. Maybe that's what they're drawing on. I don't know. It's pretty simple, uh, but I do like this right here. Um, just the name being most of the logo is kind of mad, but we'll go with that. Now, the Dallas Mavericks are my favorite team. Logos, whatever. Honestly, the, it, the shape's kind of weird. I might like it more if it was just this part um, with the horse over the ball, maybe reading Dallas. Um, I don't know what it is, but something about the shape is really throwing me off. I don't like the gray as much either. I'm going to put it in C. Pelicans have a pretty sweet logo. Um, maybe too many colors. I think I think one thing maybe I'm figuring out here is I do kind of like dual colors, trio colors to an extent, like the slight accent here. Um, but I th uh, maybe too much in variety of the colors. Just a weird personal preference I'm just now discovering I have. Uh, but this is a great logo. I love the Pelican on full, full display here. Brooklyn Nets. I don't know what you can do with the name, honestly, with the, with the name lends you to be able to have. But the, 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 the logo is boring. It, it feels very old school, which, you know, could be the vibe you want to go for. But I don't like that. Knicks, it's like it's slightly better just because, I don't know, the orange makes it pop a little more. And I like that. But it that's that's where it caps out at. Uh, Cavs, I actually like the C with the, uh, like, the... I'm trying to name the specific sword, but I'm I'm not a sword expert. But um, nice black background. I you know I kind of like the shield of it as well. Um, but yeah, I, I I like it. Let's put it let's put it B. Now the heat. This is what I'm talking about when you could incorporate a basketball. It looks like a halo on it, um, but it's you know the the ball going through the hoop. They're it's on fire. They're the Miami Heat. It just works perfectly. Uh, their name really lends itself to like a, a cool imagery like this with you know heat checks and stuff like that and being on fire being a, you know a term really for anything um, but yeah it just lends itself to to really good ideas and they just executed it perfectly <coughs> leave that in Utah Jazz <sighs> uh, I mean like the J being a music note is cool I'm gonna put it C I don't love the colors here. Now, now it's it's very quiet with it, so it, it that helps. But it, I think it just kind of helps keeping it out of D. Houston Rockets. I'm going to mostly just focus on the R here. This is what I usually see, and I like it. I mean, just the takeoff, that's the rocket right there. Um, I'm just going gonna, gonna to count this as like the sonic boom. That's what I'm going to envision this as. It, it could also be like the hoop and a ball going through, but it, it this I mean, in no way does this look like a ball. Um but yeah, just a nice rocket blasting off. King's logo is actually one that I like it the more I look at it. Um, I kind of like this, the, the layering here. Uh, the crown on top, the ball at the bottom. King's nice, bold in the middle. I actually really I actually really like it. Thunder, I don't... It's just very... Like, what's going on? Like, I see the basketball, OKC. I'm not sure. Like, the, the colors are, are cool, but I don't love them. I'm just going to put it in C. Uh, the Buck... I actually really like the buck. Let's put the buck in A. Mm, I'm tempted to put it in S, honestly. I think I really like... You know what? Nice, strong buck. Looks very fierce, staring directly on. Bucks is e Milwaukee Bucks is easy to read. Uh, I think the colors complement each other pretty well with the, with the cream. Uh, but yeah, the bucks. I'm going to put them there. Portland, Portland Trailblazers, I don't really know what their logo is. I'm gonna be honest. What is this supposed to be? Like, I, I could see the basketball part of it, but like, what's the rest of it? I don't know what's going on there. Um, is it as bad as these ones? Yes. Clippers. They have a new logo. Um. 
they have a new logo, so this is out of date. I'm gonna let's let's look let's look it up. Um, Los Angeles Clippers new logo. You know what? I, I people have been hating on it. I bet as we get used to it, I think I think I think this is a logo that could really grow on people. Uh, it is very different from everything else. Um, but it's like, oh, is this supposed to be like the lines of a basketball? What's going on here? Um, the C, like the the compass points here, a yacht? Like I I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna we're going off that one. I'll put it C. Um, I just don't get it. Now the Hornets. I actually really like the Hornet. I like the colors. Um, I think it being a hornet maybe still caps it being like a bug um, for some reason. You got to be a mammal, I guess, to really be on top. But uh, I, I like I, I actually really like it. The Lakers, they have a nice simple logo. Um, but it, it, it's too simple for me to really put it anywhere higher. It's like just a nice solid logo. Spurs, uh, I actually, I mean, I do like the spur. But like, again, pretty simplistic, but it's very solid. I don't think you got to mess with the design. Um yeah, it's just a spur. The Grizzlies, I'll slap it A. And I think it's just because, like, why is like why is the buck higher than the Grizzly? Yes, <laughs> it might just be because of antlers. Like, I just like ants. these are visually more appealing to see in a logo than just like a, you know, a fluffy little bear that looks kind of mean. Uh, but yeah, it it's. It's cool. I, I kind of like it's, it's like all blue except for the yellow in the eyes. But yeah, I'll just put it in nice salt A. I feel like you have. I feel like you have to put it S. I think this is the most. I think this is the most iconic logo in the NBA. It's really because of one man, but I, this logo helps with that. I mean, nice solid looking bull looks real mean. I wouldn't want to fuck with it. I'm going to be putting the Chicago Bulls logo in S. Now the Suns. It's cool. I'll put it B. It's it's solid. Um, the ball being the sun, and that pretty much being it for the logo is cool. I'm just gonna put it in B. Uh, Boston Celtics. Uh, I think I think I like it the more I look at it, but I'm just I'm gonna put it in A. Um, it is very iconic. A logo that hasn't gone through that many changes. Um, I think it had like one drastic change, like all all like logo timelines do even for iconic ones there's like the early one where you're like that's different uh, but the boston celtic nice to see some irish representation so i'm going to put my brother here at a um so that's the list uh, i'm very disappointed that my own team maxed out at a c what are we doing what are we doing uh it, we've got some of the worst branding i mean i, th I think mavs fans thank god for the utah jazz uh, that, that, that kind of keeps some of the heat off of us for how our jerseys look usually. There's been some good ones, but how our jerseys usually look, our logo. Uh, so shout out to the Jazz. But yeah, that's going to do it here. Um, let me know what you agreed with most and what you disagreed with most. You know, I say that at the end of every video. People are quick to tell me what they disagree with most. I, you know what? I'm not hearing as much as, the, as what you agreed with most. I, t I ask for both. I do ask for both. Um, but Dad, yeah. Uh, go ahead and like this video if you made it this far. Subscribe because I got a lot more coming. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, keep gaming.